All right, so let's go play Miley. I want you to hear Miley. Let's see. Miley reads the script the communist Chinese gave him because he's infatuated with China and told the generals in the military in China, if Trump ever does anything militarily as the commander in chief in order to deal with you, I will call you secretly first and alert you to what the president is going to do. I will betray him because we don't trust him. We don't like him, but you can trust me and like me because I represent the uh, the Democrats that are really the ones who should be in office. Listen to what he has to say as a front man for China. As you alluded to in the previous question, uh, China is not an enemy. And I think that's important for people to clearly understand. Uh, China is a rising power. Uh, China has been a rising power t- since uh, Deng Xiaoping in 79, and they've been clicking off at 10 percent growth for you know, almost 30 years, and they dropped down to about 7 percent last year or two, and they'll probably drop again you know, and come into the range of normalcy and 3 to 5 percent growth. But that's still significant economic growth. And there's been a really large historic change from a North Atlantic-based global economy to now it's proceeding to be a North Pacific based global economy. So uh, with respect to China, um, what normally happens historically, it's not in all cases, but in most cases, where you have economic growth of that magnitude typically follows military power. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a a significant increase in in, uh, Chinese military uh, capabilities over the last uh, 10 to 20 years. Uh, And uh, they are going to develop themselves and are developing themselves uh, into a great power. That is not to say, however, that they are an enemy. 